alkynes can be reduced to other hydrocarbons in three different ways. If an alkyne is treated with hydrogen in the presence of a metal catalyst such as palladium, platinum, or nickel, it is reduced to the alkane through the addition of two equivalents of hydrogen across the two alkyne pi bonds. On the other hand, if the alkyne is treated with hydrogen in the presence of Linlar's catalyst, a single equivalent of hydrogen is added across an alkyne pi bond to afford the cis alkene. Alternatively, the trans alkene can be obtained when the alkyne is treated with either sodium or lithium in the presence of liquid ammonia. This latter reaction proceeds through an entirely different mechanism and is known as dissolving metal reduction. The hydrogenation of an alkyne, or its reduction using hydrogen in the presence of a metal catalyst, such as palladium, platinum, or nickel, closely parallels the hydrogenation of alkenes. Although curved arrow notation is not typically drawn for this particular reaction, the mechanism can be described using the following series of steps. First, hydrogen adsorbs onto the metal surface and dissociates into hydrogen atoms. The alkyne also adsorbs onto the metal and binds one hydrogen atom. Upon the addition of a second hydrogen atom, the substrate dissociates or desorbs from the metal surface, yielding the cis alkene because both hydrogens added to the same side of the alkyne. The reaction is not finished, however, because alkenes are still reactive under these conditions. So the cis alkene proceeds to add two more hydrogens from the metal surface in the same fashion. In other words, hydrogen has adsorbed and dissociated into hydrogen atoms. When the alkene adsorbs onto the metal surface, it will first bind one hydrogen atom and then a second which leads to its desorption from the metal surface. Although this second addition of hydrogen across an alkene pi bond was also sin in nature, stereochemistry is irrelevant because both of the reactive centers have added two new hydrogen atoms and are not, therefore, stereocenters. Linlar's catalyst is a poisoned catalyst. Its activity has been weakened by the treatment of the metal catalyst, namely palladium, with lead acetate and or quinoline. This poisoned or weakened catalyst is only sufficiently active to catalyze the addition of a single molecule of hydrogen to an alkyne. It cannot catalyze the second addition, so the reaction is halted at the cis alkene. Dissolving metal reduction proceeds through an entirely different mechanism and will ultimately provide the trans alkene. In dissolving metal reduction, an alkyne is treated with sodium or lithium metal in liquid ammonia. To keep the ammonia in the liquid state, it must be cooled, so you'll sometimes see a temperature of minus 78 degrees Celsius designated. Sodium or lithium metal possesses one electron in its valence shell that it is anxious to donate so as to attain the more stable electronic configuration of the preceding noble gas. As sodium donates an electron to the alkyne, the alkyne homolyzes. This results in the formation of an intermediate possessing both a radical, that is to say an unpaired electron, and an anion. 
the anion deprotonates ammonia to yield a vinylic radical. In other words, the radical resides directly on a doubly bonded carbon. The vinylic radical accepts the donation of a second electron from a second equivalent of sodium metal. This forms a vinylic anion, which happens to be more stable in its trans configuration. And that is the basis for selectivity in this reaction. The vinylic anion deprotonates ammonia and the trans alkene results. In the following diagram, a single unsymmetrical internal alkyne is reduced in three different ways to afford three different products. Treatment of this alkyne with hydrogen and a metal catalyst such as palladium on carbon results in complete reduction of the alkyne to the alkane. On the other hand, if the poisoned catalyst, known as Linlar's catalyst, is used, the hydrogenation stops after the addition of a single equivalent of hydrogen. And this results in the cis alkene product. Alternatively, if dissolving metal reduction is utilized, then the trans alkene is afforded. In summary, alkynes may be reduced to alkanes as well as cis or trans alkenes, but each target requires its own unique set of conditions. Simple hydrogenation with hydrogen and a metal catalyst provides the alkane, but the substitution of a poisoned catalyst will yield the cis alkene. Finally, the mechanistically distinct dissolving metal reduction provides access to the trans alkene. The preceding has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, and in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.